So as shielder technicians, we throw around terms like high load or low load on the chiller. And, you know, we don't really take the time to define some of these things sometimes. So I'm going to do that today. The way I look at this is temperature difference. Just saying that up front, I see my load as temperature difference across the evaporator specifically. But let's get into that from just what that looks like in the different viewpoints on chillers. Now, there's a few different ways to look at this. So an alternative to evaporator TD, you could look at compressor RLA as an example. With compressor RLA, I find that it will correlate to the evaporator uh, load and then the other pressors that are online at the same time. So they all kind of point back to each other, but in the end, all of it points to what the evaporator is doing. What is the temperature difference across that evaporator? That is the core function of what our, um, our, our load is being dictated by. So even if we are looking at this from a compressor load perspective, uh, it's still dictated by the evaporator load. So if we want to understand chiller load, then that's where looking at it from the evaporator perspective could be useful. Now, in the end, a chiller's job is to control leaving chilled water.